June 19, 2018 3.01 p.m. Twitter erupted Tuesday after President Trump hugged an American flag as he exited the stage after speaking at a small business owner's event. Trump had spoken to the National Federation of Independent Businesses, during which he addressed issues such as immigration and small business policies, before he made the embrace. Social media users were quick to criticize Trump for his show of patriotism in light of the administration's controversial zero-tolerance policy on illegal border crossings resulting in family separations. Perhaps we can issue small stuffed flags to the children in detention who are forbidden to hug each other, one user wrote. At least, buy the flag dinner first, Mr. President, and get a room, man, said lawyer Bradley Muss. U.S. flag code states, the flag should never touch anything beneath it, another user chimed in. Every protesting NFL player should hug a flag with a dopey grin on their face so Trump can't do it anymore, said another. Every protesting NFL player should hug a flag with a dopey grin on their face so Trump can't do it anymore, Sean Thomason, at Seth Thomason, June 19, 2018 One individual pointed out the administration's plans to exit the, the UN Human Rights Council. Another user shared a video of Trump years ago admitting he didn't know what the 13 stripes on the flag represent. This isn't the first time the president has embraced the American flag. Trump hugged the flag multiple times while on the campaign trail in 2016. One instance took place at a campaign event in Florida, shown below, D.C. Voters backed Initiative 77 Tuesday, raising the city's minimum wage to $15 an hour by 2025, up from the current level of $12.50, and phasing out the $3.33 an hour minimum wage for tipped workers. With just under 90% of the precincts reporting in at press time, the margin was 55 to 44%. President Trump praised Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen for explaining how families attempting to enter the U.S. between ports of entry are being separated, amid widespread backlash to the Trump administration's new zero-tolerance policy to prosecute all illegal immigrants. Acting Associate Attorney General Jesse Panuccio rejected the idea that the Justice Department is biased towards only protecting conservatives' free speech rights on college campuses. Activists with the D.C. chapter of the Democratic Socialists of America crashed Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen's dinner Tuesday evening and appeared to chase her from the building. Peter Strzok, a top FBI agent who demonstrated anti-Trump bias, may yet get subpoenaed to appear before Congress, even though over the weekend he volunteered to go before Congress. Rev. Rob Shank, a prominent evangelical minister and founding president of the Dietrich Bonhoeffer Institute, said Tuesday that evangelical Christians sold their principles in supporting President Trump and called for a return to the message of the gospel. With a final stamp of approval from the Crown, recreational marijuana will become legal in Canada after the Canadian Senate voted 52 to 29 in favor of legalization Tuesday. White House Social Media Director Dan Scavino Jr is considering leaving the White House, according to a new report. President Trump on Tuesday urged House Republicans to pass either of two GOP-authored immigration reform bills up for a vote this week, and said Congress must also change the law to allow children to remain with relatives at southern border detention facilities. The Pentagon has identified the U.S. Navy sailor who died on Sunday as Petty Officer First Class Matthew I. Holzimer of Tennessee. House Democrats and members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus haggled President Trump over his administration's policy of separating children from their families at the border Tuesday as he left a meeting with the House GOP conference. President Trump on Tuesday formally revoked an order that former President Barack Obama issued after the massive BP oil spill eight years ago, an effort to promote domestic offshore energy production. President Trump's personal attorney Michael Cohen is open to sharing information on Trump with investigators, despite previously claiming he would take a bullet for the president, a new report says. Democratic New York Gov. 
Andrew Cuomo announced Tuesday his state will sue the Trump administration over its zero-tolerance approach to immigration that has resulted in family separations at the border, claiming the federal government has violated the constitutional rights of illegal immigrant children and parents with the policy. After pressure from the top Democrat on the Senate Finance Committee, four top telecommunications companies pledged to end contracts with a firm that gathered data on users' locations and sold it without their consent. A group of 12 Republican senators, spearheaded by Senator Orrin Hatch, R. Utah, are urging Attorney General Jeff Sessions to cease separating families attempting to enter the U.S. between ports of entry, amid widespread backlash to the Trump administration's new zero-tolerance policy to prosecute all illegal immigrants.